Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we are going to study place value with decimals and I intend this lesson for about 6th grade. Here I have a very long number and let's say that I wanted to read it. It would be 4271. And then the decimal part. To read it, I would have to check what is this last, this smallest place value here. It is millionths. And then I would read this whole thingy as a whole number and say millionths. So we have here 820,569 millionths. The other way to say it is just reading the digits like 4,271.820569 and it indeed has millionths here. Notice how these different places go, how they are organized. Here's as you know, ones place, tens, hundreds and thousands place in the whole number part here. And then in the decimal part we start with tenths, and then hundredths, then thousandths, next one is ten thousandths place, hundred thousandths place and millionths place. So the places are symmetrically around the ones place, so that you have tens here, and tenths place here, hundreds place and hundredths place, and so on. If we now write this in expanded form, it means we take each digit and its value. So digit 4 here, its value is 4000, so I write 4000 here, and then add this digit, it has a value 200, so I write 200, then this one is 70, and then comes 1, and then this one here is 8 tenths. Next comes 2 hundredths. And next 0 thousandths. I don't have to write that. Then 5 ten thousandths. And then 6 hundred thousandths. And lastly 9 millionths. So it takes quite some time to write it in expanded form. You could also write it in expanded form using here decimals instead of fractions. Now let's write these as decimals and I want to show you a little shortcut. Six thousandths as a decimal. Okay, if you notice here, whenever a decimal has thousandths, then it must have three decimal digits, okay? Just like the number thousand here has three zeros, then we have three decimal digits. So all I need to do is write a decimal that has three decimal digits after the point and put six there here, the last. So now I just put zeros in, so it is 0 0.006. This one here has 10,000 as a denominator. So 10,000, okay, it means I need to have four decimal digits. Just like here are four zeros, so four decimal digits after the point. And then I put the 1, 7 and 1 over here, so that something reaches the 10 thousandths place. Like that. Over here, 72,589 thousandths. The same principle applies. Here's 1,000. Three zeros, so three decimal digits. But now, of course, this doesn't just fit there, but it will have 72 here, and then 5, 8, 9, like that. 72.589. Oh, actually, it is the whole number 72 and 589 thousandths. Okay, let's try it here. Here's millionths. Six zeros, six decimal digits. Okay, so 238 goes there at the very end, and then I need to have six decimal digits, so let's put three zeros here, then my point. Over here, hundredths. 4287 divided by 100, or 4287 hundredths. So I need to have two decimal digits, okay? I just copy this here and put my point there. Of course, you can recognize this as a division problem too. 4287 divided by 100, and the shortcut for that is to move the decimal point, remember? From here, two steps over here. Now, 28,901 hundred thousandths. Okay, you see five zeros here, 
five decimal digits. Or you can count here, one, two, three, four, five decimal digits for hundred thousands. Okay, and my number just goes here, like that. Write as fractions, we will now use the same technique. I'll check how many decimal digits are there. One, two, three, four, five decimal digits. So, my denominator has to have one and five zeros. So it is 100,000. And then I just copy this number, those digits here, one, one, and three. 13.14, two decimal digits. So the denominator has to be 100, right? And then just copy all the digits on top. It's very easy. Here, four decimal digits. So what is our denominator? have to have four zeros here. And then I just copy everything from here, all the digits. So it is 51,096 divided by 10,000. And here, three decimal digits would mean denominator of 1,000. And then just copy those digits over there. Write in expanded form, just like I did here, okay? This one has two in thousandths place, right? Two thousandths. And then eight is in the ten thousandths place, so eight, ten thousandths. And that's it. Now for this number, I will start with this two, which is just the whole number, two. And then two in tenths place, so two tenths. Nothing here. And then 7 is in what place? Thousandths place, right? Next one, nothing here. And then 5 is in what place? I skipped the ten thousandths place, so hundred thousandths place. There. And like I mentioned, you could also use decimals here. 0 0.2, 0 0.007, and so on. Now here is a number written in expanded form. Let's write it as a single decimal. But the parts are kind of scrambled, in scrambled order. My biggest one is here, two ones, or two units. Then would come the hundredths. It is skipping the tenths, actually. Let's start writing it as two point. For tenths, I have nothing, so zero there. Hundredths, I do have five of them. Then would come thousandths, nothing there, so zero. Then ten thousandths, okay, there's one of them. Hundred thousandths, oh, nothing there again. And lastly, millionths, seven of them.